Advocacy groups are using the Supreme Court's own language to protest against legacy admissions. Legacy admission is the practices of colleges, especially Ivy Leagues, giving a leg up to students whose parents or relatives went to that school. Colleges across the country participate to varying degrees. Some, like NYU, claim legacy doesn't matter at all. But according to an investigation by the Washington Post, all Ivy League schools consider legacy status during their admission processes. Three civil rights advocacy groups claim this system gives an unfair advantage to white students who have been able to participate in higher education significantly longer than people of color. The groups filed a federal civil rights complaint against Harvard on July 3rd. First of all, universities weren't open to all students until the Civil Rights Act became law in 1964. Second, the very premise is problematic. If your parents attended an Ivy, it's likely that you grew up with financial advantages that helped you get into those same schools. Money and legacy by tutors, Hest prep, and extracurriculars that boost college prospects. The complaint contends that legacy admission also goes against the principle of meritocracy. Just because your parents went to a school does not inherently make you a better candidate. Regardless, legacy status can double, triple, or even quadruple your odds of admission. Per the complaint, 70% of the legacy students who apply to Harvard are white, and they are approximately six times more likely to be admitted to the school than non-legacy students. Ultimately, legacy admissions perpetuate elitism. They keep the same wealthy, privileged social circles in power generation after generation. Students from lower income and minority backgrounds face an uphill battle in breaking into these institutions. This complaint hasn't reached the Supreme Court yet, but stripping away affirmative action might have set a precedent that the justices aren't willing to uphold.